This year we had our third annual big mini art show and we were very excited to do that. The purpose of it is to have everyone in the community joining in to offer pieces of art and also for people to explore their creative side, whether or not they truly thought they were artists or not. So we had a number of different programs where we had um, different kinds of media that people could try out, um, you know, watercolor, watercolor pencils and watercolor markers, which really lend themselves to people being a little bit more artistic than they think they're going to be. Um, collage, which is easy for people who claim they are not artists at all. Um, so what we were asking for was everyone's idea of what a three by three piece of art would be. And we had canvases that people could take. And we had, I cut so many pieces of um, three by three watercolor that people could take. Um, but if they had materials of their own that they wanted to use, they, they could do that as well. And we had some really um, creative offerings. There were two different knitters that made tiny sweaters. We had punch needle rugs. We had some felting. And one of the things that I really loved is that it was a collaboration also with the Hadley Elementary School where, whereby there were a number of teachers that wanted to do programs with their students. And so we gave them pieces of watercolor and for the most part, they had themes. There was one class that had been studying animals that the kids each drew their own animal. There was one where everyone did uh, these wonderful ladybugs with thumbprints. And, and um, we had, you know, teens and tweens coming in and sometimes their parents and younger kids. And so it became these, this fun sort of family collaboration of, of creation. So we, uh, we think we got maybe about 200 pieces. For the most part, they were done on the canvases or the watercolors, and there were collages done with uh, magazines. Uh, some of those were magaz mixed media magazines and watercolor. We had a couple of three-dimensional paper sculptures. As I mentioned, there was the two sweaters that were knit um, using toothpicks, thumbprints, which were perfect for preschool kids. So there, we really didn't have an age range. It was from zero to, I don't know, 150, I don't think anyone's quite 150 yet. It's an exploration of creativity. It's ex an exploration of community because not only did people contribute pieces of art, but people came in to see the art as well. It's an exploration of what you think the boundaries of your own creativity are and an, and an explosion of those um, boundaries. So yeah, so there were a number of different reactions both to people who were putting things in and for um, looking at each other's and for people who are coming simply to to look at what was there. One of the things I tried to discourage was the idea of who's going to win the contest because that wasn't the point. It was right. It was diving in and seeing what you could do. There was astonishment at what was created at a tiny scale. There was amusement from some of the funnier things. There was this joy that I saw with children and adults bringing in their friends to see what they had contributed and to see the context of those contributions, the other pieces of art that were there as well. It, it was a really fun and joyful, um, joyful time to be, to be here and, and witness that. So this year we so, sort of, um, we planned it for two days and then it extended for a week. What we'd like to do next year is have a, a more formal beginning, but definitely plan the whole week of having uh, the items on display and then having a, a reception that ends it to have a nice, uh, a nice period to the piece and a communal get together. That was one thing that, that I f felt like we didn't have this time. Um, that we've had in the past is this everyone there together um, looking at the artwork at the same time and, and enjoying that sort of a reception but definitely making sure it's up for at least a week. If you were able to come to the show you saw that there were so many different avenues of creativity and if you didn't and if you were afraid of contributing yourself I encourage people to really just sort of dive in, try something simple, try something not too structured, because the act of creating 
um, helps you get past boundaries. It helps open up your ideas to open up yourself to more ideas and seeing what what people come up with is really, really amazing.